So the Clinton Foundation, um, they are relative, not quite neoliberal in their approach, but they are very market focused in their approach. Um, so they decided to tackle um, big pharma and the medicines that are required to treat a lot of the diseases which uh, the predominantly developing countries were uh, suffering with. And the problem was that uh, medicines are expensive to develop. Uh, in fact, the reason that we've got so few large pharmaceutical, com com pharmaceutical companies and that they are so uh, huge and generally tend to be partnerships like GlaxoSmithKline uh, is because the majority of the new products which they try to bring to market and put through medical testing, uh, the medical testing is so uh, uh, extremely stringent in its uh, requirements before things uh, make it to market. Um, the, the majority of um, these will not make it to market and so um, the uh, investments that they've put in trying to bring them to market will ultimately be wasted. Um, and so one of the problems that they have with um, this is that it costs uh, for uh, bring a typical medicine to market over 2.5 billion dollars and so it doesn't um, take many of those to go wrong before the company is in serious financial difficulties um, and so they put these huge fees on medicines um, during what is a limited period whilst the medicine can remain within its patent and once that patent has run out, that global patent has run out, then the medicines can be made as cheaper generic brands um, and the profitability of them um, drops very significantly. And so they've got that short period of time to make all of their money whilst they can keep them in patent. Um, and so uh, one of the problems they uh, have with this is that if you're trying to provide, for instance, antiretrovirals to treat people in developing countries, they just can't afford to pay for them. And so they end up suffering the symptoms of the disease when a, a cure is um, uh, available over the counter in other areas of the world or if you've got enough money. So uh, the Clinton Foundation had a think about this and they said, well, OK, let's take a, a counter proposition back to Big Pharma. They still need to make enough money to keep them financially secure as a result of marketing these drugs so that they can afford to bring new drugs to market. However, um, they uh, by selling a small volume at high price, um, they are making enough money, but that's uh, causing problems for people in developing countries. So what about selling a uh, much higher volume, but at a lower price? You'll get the same profit, and so therefore the same net result um, for Big Pharma. They make the same amount of money. Um, so they uh, decided to uh, take this approach um, with Big Pharma, and they added a little bit of leverage to it. It's legal to um, reverse engineer um, one of these medicines uh, and so they got Chinese and Indian companies predominantly to start trying to reverse engineer generic brands of um, more expensive uh, 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 brand name brands of various medicines um, and where they were successful these went on the market and were mass distributed around developing countries and so they kind of forced big farmers hands to provide this high volume low cost uh, approach um, so the Clintons um, Foundation uh, used the mixture of its political pull, which was phenomenal, um, and the uh, its commercial nous um, in order to be able to uh, uh, provide an alternative solution that made uh, a lot of more medicines available to developing countries to deal with some of the diseases they were encountering.